Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Legendary Iron Man playthrough Into the Void. Time for Operation Tomb Shield uh, where we are starting the Liberation Chain from uh, South America. So that's not bad and Dr. Juan Carlos Garcia, uh, an engineer, can be rescued. We don't have a very experienced team with us. This was one of the more difficult deployments, so let's hope that this is actually going to go according to plan. High alert certainly doesn't help us. It's gonna go down, boys! Hmm. Yeah, triple grenadier. What was I thinking? We gotta do this carefully. 15 enemies. Well. I'm trusting you here. It is clear. Moving, moving. 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 With Overwatch. But that's not good enough. We already triggered. Happy times. Crowd controlling to minimize the damage. All right, he's burning, that's good. All right, I'll go. It is clear. And yeah, Hexer moves up as well. Has a nice little cyclic fire, but that will happen a little bit later, I suppose. For now, we're just going to use the good old double movement and a bit of an overwatch. Gunner hopefully runs in. Well, okay, that was not too bad. How is he not burning anymore? Oh, he ran through water. Was that the case? Oh, shut up. Look at that. He ran through water. And that's why he's no longer burning. Okay, very rare case to see that. Raising hit and a kill. Very nice. Okay, we're moving up. That's for sure. And that might already be a kill. Good. Heavy, uh, hard to hit targets, but thankfully, Sonics don't care about hit chances. Moves into position. Let's hope this is not burning through and we're falling down. That would absolutely suck. I 
I know how we can get rid of the heat. Doing exactly the same as our friend just did. And also potentially pulling something. The answer is no. We know there was another pack here. Moves up, moves up everybody in f into full cover. Is it clear? And XQ6 moves up as well. Overwatch and Overwatch and Overwatch and Overwatch. We have five Overwatches. Now would be a perfect time for an alien pack to run into us. Of course, not happening. This whole situation is unfortunate. It forces us into a stupid playstyle where I will now need to rush in and try to scout. Luckily, we do have Ever Vigilance, so if this year would go bad, we could at least Overwatch. And we do have Stasis, which we can put onto whoever is scouting. But given that no one was there, we might be able to pull this one off. Got it. What are our options? That looks good. I like the Overwatch, uh, the um, squad side, but jammed is the worst of all uh, failures. As every single enemy gets a massive step boost. And we can't let that happen. Scanning. Equally, we can't be engaged from the left side. That's not happening. Might be able to move, move to here. And... Push through. No need to ask twice. Okay, uh, you do have cyclic fire, so you're going to be positioned there. I would reload because we're low on ammo and I don't want to lose momentum. Uh, excuse me? Excuse me. On the move. Rolling out. I didn't want to open the door. Okay. Why is there no pack? There's always a pack guarding the AO. Okay, wait, 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 wait. If we play our cards right, we might be able to get out of here. Like easy peasy lemon squeezy. Ah, that, mm, that could trigger. Let's move her in there does not trigger Moving out. we're good if it triggers we stasis okay all right I'll go Headed out. Okay, the only thing that we don't want is to be ambushed from behind, so close the door. And let's never talk about what happened here. Don't want to go here, maybe there is a pack there. What's over there? 
Okay, cool. System infiltration in progress. It's highly unusual that there is no pack here. Highly unusual. So something is up. Either they are on the rooftop and are going to F us really badly in a second. Or something else. Something fishy is going on. I, I don't like what I'm seeing. Boards opens that door. At some point, we gotta check, but there's nothing. How? On my way. How? How is there nothing? Look, What's over there? this is a terrible mission to begin with. I don't mind taking handouts. Is it clear? I hope it's worth it. I don't mind taking handouts. We're going to see reinforcements in a second. Something is fishy. I never had it in a mission that there was no pack guarding the AO. I've got eyes on admin troops. Oh, we're of course being flanked. Nice drop. we kill it in the end or not? Can we get out? Wurz cannot get out, uh, which means we're going to give it another turn. This guy dies. already have killed a person I hope it's worth it. and next turn everybody just moves out fortify overwatch reload overwatch hunker down overwatch 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 and Overwatch. I'm all over it. Got it. Moving. Running. Wow. I don't know what happened. But we just got away with murder. What happened? Let's go. Packing it in. Getting out of here. I'm gone. Evac confirmed. VIP secure and in position for evac. We bypassed a lot. Look at that. I mean, we ran into like what? Two packs? Operation Tomb Shield was more like Operation Child's Play. We, we killed like one uh, squad, then we just moved on, and there was not even a squad guarding the AO. Where was everybody? The other side must have had a massive amount of enemies if there are 13 enemies hid, uh, hiding on that one side. It's unbelievable. Good skills for XQ6, but we don't have enough uh, points.
And... That's good. Well, that was a bit of a strange mission. Commander, we're picking up an emergency transponder signal. It looks like the last team we deployed was ambushed on their covert action. We're sending Firebrand to their position for an evac. Did you honestly expect to operate in the shadows for eyes to move? Yeah, the Sisters of Battle are not going to go in, but the Salamanders very much are. Forces will need to be especially vigilant. Commander Tigan and Shen aren't going to be happy if we don't put the skull jack in good use. We should have one of our soldiers equip it before they deploy. So who else could we take? Skull jack wouldn't uh, be bad if we are doing that. And having a support generally wouldn't be bad as well route of nano med kits um, there's the skull jack and someone stole his gremlin too hmm. not optimal but i think it'll do We could give you a big fat plasma lance. You would love that, wouldn't you? But nope, not happening. Good. That's a decent, uh, a decent team to start with. So let's jump into it. The salamanders are directly going back into action, supporting our uh, team that was just caught red-handed. Okay, that's the extraction point. And we got our good friends, Aviator, Ranvin, and a Aaron here. Damn it, I should really give you better equipment. That should serve as a lesson for the next time to do so. Okay, Brian Bruh, aka Aviator, moves in, and finds friends right away. Killing it with fire. Very good. He's been taken care of immediately. What's over there? Lightning hands. Nice little crit. And we're getting some well-deserved loot. I guess that'll be okay. I'm going. We definitely need to upgrade your equipment, guys, if you're being ambushed like this. Got our sniper. And good god, that is a huge map. No problem. I will move up.
But not before we have actually triggered not only one, but two, but three mutants. Nicely clustering together. That might trigger the lost. Not a problem. And I think a bit of area overwatch would do wonders. Area suppression, rather. Planet down here gets a bit of extra defense, and we're good. Need to upgrade the weapons. Reminder to self: like elite, mutant elites are no joke. Good. Well, very solid first interaction. So the fundamental problem that I'm having in most of uh, the situations here in the later game is the enemies are getting so, so tanky and have so, so many hit points that it is very, very difficult for anything but like a fully equipped uh, squad to do anything meaningful. So, as part of that, for instance, this mutant elite definitely needs to die if we can't uh, get him down. We're going to be in a world of pain. I'm ready. And we don't have enough. Um, money to uh, let all of the equipment go around so i need to think about how we can reasonably justify to um, Absolutely. maybe equip a couple of uh, the guys with kind of moderately good equipment Because laser weapons, for instance, like Aviator is currently having, it's just not a thing anymore. But this should be fine. Yep, it is. Need to leave one mutant standing. Let's hope this guy starts burning. Nope, he does not. Instead, he hits us. Tries to. That is. Don't want to push too far. Solid copy. I'm all over it. Uh. 
Um, you know, let's just stay here. Overwatch. Overwatch. And Overwatch. Holds of a, a howls of a swarm of lost is uh, near. This may trigger something. And it, for whatever reason, does not. On it. Affirmative. Sniper moves back up, moving slightly back, Overwatch, 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 Overwatch. Losses are finally here. it how everybody at the same time says what did you expect well the loss yeah we expected exactly that good hit and you two burn Renvin is a little bit slow, so we need to help him. Back That's right. Overwatch with wrong planet. Heads overwatches. Reload overwatch. And we're good. Yeah, the the mutant the mutant elite in particular was a big problem. Can't let that happen again. Miss, miss, miss. Does he have lightning reflexes? Wow. But you guys start to burn. Burning and burning, which means they cannot really do much. We're waiting up here so that the others are coming up. Not good. N yeah, no shit, Sherlock. That was indeed not good. That was the very definition of not good. High ground and being unable to convincingly kill this guy. Another 81% shot missed. Today is not my RNG day. Interesting, he does not trigger 
Overwatch. Well, he does. Okay. Okay, cool. Worked out well at the end. Not the biggest problem. But boy, those Blood Angels sure need some better equipment. Next time there might not be kind of elite soldiers available to get them out. All members of Wraith 1 have been successfully evac'd. Wave 1. Ooh. What a creative name. Good. We're doing well, guys. We're doing well. That'll give us finally some uh, mm, reduction of the Avatar project. That's good. I like it. I like shredding as well. We're going for failsafe. And invisible strawman get, becomes a real good uh, mm, specialist. A valuable member of uh, the XCOM society. Our cooperation has proven to be a boom Fantastic. Resistance. That was good. Now. Um, I want another Templar, but that you already told me is not possible. We have a couple of really quick missions, like gaining a resistance mech, for instance. Supply, ooh, 100 supplies for five days, not bad. Uh, superior PCS. That is not bad. Matter of fact, John McMullen is Johnny Five, right? John McMullen, yep, he's infiltrating. So that would be a good upgrade for the for the tem uh, for the Grey Knights. More resistance contacts. That would be good. I think we're going to do that. Five days is a steal, but before there is still an ambush chance before we're doing that, I would like to view our conte uh, contenders because I wasn't as happy with their equipment. So in terms of loadout, a mag rifle at this point, I'm sorry, but that doesn't work out. Let me just upgrade the equipment real quick. Okay, spent quite a bit of funds on them, but I want to make sure that the covert actions are being done well. Because we rely on them not taking a lot of damage and matter of fact doing them quick and efficient. Down to four days, which is great. And we get Renvin on top of it. Which is perfect. I mean, still a low chance to ambush, but that's 200 uh, supplies well invested. They now do have state of the art equipment, which is good. The Esperance would be the next one with a mission, right down there. And then we got the Iron Hands here with another mission, so that could be the content of our next episode. This year is slightly going down, which I appreciate. So we're just going to infiltrate it to 200% uh, to make it bearable and easier for us. We don't have any kind of time limitation other than Raven Guard being not deployable somewhere else. Imperial Fists are done almost as well. We have a couple of uh, um, HQ assaults that are soon going to be ready like this one here for instance 
So lots of missions coming up around the anniversary of the hundredth episode, which is coming soon. I hope you enjoy the run as thoroughly as I am doing. And if you do so, now is a good point in time to uh, say thank you with putting a like and a comment down below. And uh, that would be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.